A woman standing in a modern Apple store analyzing different products. Watch this. Look how amazing this did. Now for the second one, much more detailed, look how good of a job this is. Nano Banana lands in Leonardo AI. With this new update in Nano Banana, you can upload and reference up to six images. Keep your characters and your subjects consistent. Remove items using just a text prompt. You can also see your subject or character from every angle. Now I'll say put this woman next to the woman in this photo. She He's wearing a pink shirt all within one simple prompt in real time look i mean that is incredible okay so here we are in leonardo ai now one of the best things that this can do is two things first generating the image but then we're going to use the editor feature with nano banana to completely change up anything that we want up in the top left hand corner just like every other leonardo ai model it's going to be in here select that drop down arrow and nano banana is going to be right here third from the top there it is right there now, not only can you generate the images directly with Nano Banana, but we're going to be using some of the most powerful AI editing features. Now, one thing you'll notice on the left hand side that we don't really have any other choices when it comes to selecting our aspect ratio. So for an example, if I go back to Lucid Origin, you could see on the left hand side, I have my image dimensions over here to choose from. Right now, I'm on 16.9. If I go to Nano Banana, that option then disappears. So for the most part you can see right here what we're going to get this middle row it's going to be more along the lines of a one one aspect ratio so the first thing we can do is let's just see very quickly how image generation looks when it comes to nano banana so what i'm going to go ahead and do is head over to my prompts portal database specifically i want to go to the products and add prints section just to see how good of a job that nano banana can actually do when generating some similar looking prompts in addition if you have my leo Auto AI database, I've been adding a lot more to this as well, specifically for the latest updates for Nano Banana, Lucid Origins, and Lucid Realism. Click the links in the description for our prompts database. We'll head over back to Leonardo AI and paste it in. Let's now generate this one. In addition, let's come over here as well and try a product photo out. How about of this shoe like this? Back in the Leonardo AI, now look at this. These images are already done, and for the most part, they do look pretty good, pretty creative. Now, up at the top again, let's remove this one, and now paste in that shoe advertisement photo just like this. Now, this is just going to show you what these actual images look like if you're using Nano Banana just for complete image generation alone. Again, when it comes to hyper realism, personally, I would choose Lucid Origins or Lucid Realism still. But for the most part, you can see it did a pretty good job generating these images. Now, one area it really does excel at is going to be generating accurate text. Now, in my opinion, that does one of the best jobs. Now, if I scroll down, I'll show you. When I created earlier today, these blueprints of a banana, I'm very impressed by the level of spelling accuracy. But when it comes to my product collage images, you can see right here, it did pretty well for Nano Banana in just image generation alone. However, where this excels at is gonna be the editing part of this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is, let me come back to my prompts portal, specifically my AI influencers and my podcast images right Right here okay what i want to go ahead and do is find a person that's going to have more of a full body shot okay here we are right here we're going to go ahead and use this one the first time around and then i'll do another one utilizing a man so what i'll do now is copy this prompt right here and actually generate an image as well so back in the leonardo ai let me go ahead and generate that image very quickly while it is in my clipboard and paste this in but the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is i'm going to come in here and click on this image right here of this car now now, once this is open, you can see right below, I automatically have more features down here below. And so what you want to make sure that you do is over here, click on this icon, open this up and change the model now to Nano Banana. Now, that being the case, I can select this photo icon here and you can see that I'm going to have up to eight images, it says, that I can actually add and use as references. So let's go ahead and do just that. I'll select add image, click and drag this new one I downloaded a few minutes minutes ago and drop her in there. That way it's going to have the full background. And now there it is. It automatically populates down here below. Now we're going to start simple. What I'll say now is put this woman sitting on this car. It really is that simple. Make sure I have Nano Bananas selected. 
Okay, with that being the case, let's go ahead and generate this one. It moves rather quick, so in real time, we can just watch this and it will be completed. Look at that, right in front of our eyes, there she is. Now, let's take a look at these other ones that we got below. That image I just generated, you can see these men. This looks fairly good. Now, what we're going to do is I am going to go ahead and open up this image right here, okay? So now what I'll do is make sure you have your images removed. Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is bring in a product photo, specifically of something like this, okay? So to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and crop this man out of this image, just leaving the shirt, sunglasses, and shoes. Now I'm going to transform the man next to this lion and put him in this same exact outfit right here. Select that add image again and let's click and drag and drop that one in here like this. Wait for it to upload. Once it's done, there it is. It's populated down here below. Now watch this. We'll say something like this. Put the man in this outfit. It really is that simple. Check this out. Again, only two images are being used, but watch this. Now, if I do it again, leaving everything as is, let's really take this creativity to an insanely crazy level. I'm going to go ahead and add more images, okay? I'm going to go ahead and select this futuristic cyberpunk style image, just like that. Now, that one appears. And now I'll say, put the man in this outfit, change style to this cyberpunk image. And also one more thing, watch this. Remove the lion, okay? So we're asking three things in once with two reference images, just like that. Let's now generate this one. Now I bet that first one's already done. Let's come and take a look at it and look at that. That is incredibly done. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it did everything I wanted to, okay? It provided the shirt and the tie and the sunglasses, just not the shoes. Well, obviously, that's my fault, user error, because the AI just sees that it's a waist up shot, not a full body. So if you would have added a full body shop, or if I would have, it would have actually added those shoes as well. But you can see relatively quickly just how good of a job it actually did just doing this. Now, to do this again very quickly, which we will, now look at this though. <laughs> look at this image. Pretty cool. I mean, the shoes, it's that cyberpunk style it removed the lion it looks like it actually changed up his haircut a little bit maybe that's because it's more of a future cyberpunk style vibe and it, so it went ahead and just added its own to make it cyberpunk style it even changed up the glasses to look more futuristic but nonetheless you get the point of how you can add so many images and have so many changes done with a simple prompt i think the most impressive part though is that the ability to do that but also removing the lion as well pretty amazing now if I click this image one more time and I come in here and I say put him in this outfit and actually make it full body shot, let's see if it can actually do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give this a pretty tedious task. Put the man in this outfit, make a full body shot to show the shoes, remove the lion, put the man walking down the runway of Paris Fashion Week. That's a lot to expect. I'll be impressed if this can actually make this happen. All right, let's go ahead and X this out. It's still thinking. But look at that, right off the bat, wow, pretty impressive. I mean, it did all of that. Now, since I said full body shot, I think that's why it kept the aspect ratio, but it narrowed it down to where it could actually do that because now it's more of a 916 aspect ratio, but it gave me everything I wanted. I'm now gonna select add more images again and try something else very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and select this car. There's a woman next to this black car. Now what I'm gonna say is put this woman inside this car. And now look at that, two out of the three images, it did it. It left the current woman in there, but now you could see that other woman, she's kinda like just creeping out with that door open. I mean, that's pretty good. Now, in particular, I wanna go to a scenery architecture type prompt, specifically like a beautiful looking home. And this might be a good one right here. You could see it's fully daytime just like this. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just go ahead and copy this prompt right here. This is one of my favorites, by the way, specifically for that secret token. The secret token I used, it's a pretty long one. It's going to range from this Sony to the lens and then at the very end, this ProRes. I'll actually show this on the screen. That way you have time to copy it and use it yourself. It is going to produce some very realistic looking images. But now if we go back over into Leonardo AI, I'm going to generate this image using Lucid Origin because I want it to actually look very realistic. And I also use lucid realism that way we can choose from the two best images and look how good of a job these images actually turned out fantastic i'll go through each one and we'll choose one very quickly let's go ahead and go with this middle one right here and now watch this change the scene to 
blue hour. Okay, we'll start with simple, just like that, generate this. But at the same time, I'm also gonna say, change the scene to nighttime with bright stars in the sky, right? Now, and comma, let's go ahead and add an image click that image button and now what I'll do is select this image of this orange supercar add this car on the grass now that might not look good because there's not enough space for the car but let's just see what happens if I select a generate now let's go and check out the other one look at this one blue hour perfectly done okay so the original image you can see right here more daytime that blue hour is kind of like the sun setting right before dusk there it is just like that. The other one, okay, interesting, it did it. Wow, now we definitely get the nighttime with the stars in the sky, and it put the car in the image itself, sort of on the pool, but again, that's my fault because I should have chose a better image, maybe with a driveway, but you get the point of how you can actually do this with multiple images, and it does work out pretty well. The last thing I wanna do, Let's try expressions and now the transforming looks. So now what I'll do is come back over here to this image right here. I'm gonna say make this woman laugh and smile just like that, okay? We'll do that one and let's do another thing. And now I'll say show me a profile view of this woman still in the car but looking towards the windshield. Now generate this one. Okay, so now let's open this up and now look, that woman, she's laughing. Amazing job. And the impressive thing about this is that it completely kept the character consistent. Now, if I go to the other one for the profile view, now look at that. Now, remember the first image, she's looking at us. However, she's not smiling. And now this time, same woman again, forward facing, giving me more of that profile view. Now, if you want to see something incredibly impressive, look at this. I have a collage of Apple products as the main image. I have a woman down here at the bottom and I'm using her as the reference or character image. With this prompt, watch what this produces. Put this woman shopping in an Apple store. She's standing looking down at a table with all of these products on display. Watch what happens when I now select generate just like this. Now, another variation I can use is a woman standing in a modern Apple store analyzing different products. Watch this. Now, for the first image, look how amazing this did. There's my woman. Here are all of my products right here. Amazing job. Now, for the second one, much more detailed, I open this one up. Look how good of a job this is. I mean, this is incredible. There's my woman standing in that modern store looking down at the table. I mean, this is incredibly impressive. And you can see how quick this actually works. But now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and edit this even further. Now check this out. Change scene to nighttime. Heavy snowfall can be seen out the window. The store is lightly illuminated with neon LED glowing lights. We can just continue taking this to a whole new further and further level. Look at that. I mean, A, it's fast, it's pretty accurate, and there's everything I wanted. Nighttime, heavy snowfall outside, same scene. Now you can see those kind of subtle and gently lit LEDs. I mean, incredible. Now watch this. Now, let's add another image. Remember how I said that we could add a lot more images? Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this woman right here, hit confirm. Now I'll say put this woman next to the woman in this photo, she's wearing a pink shirt. So now I can not only add a new person, but in addition, change up her wardrobe as well, all within one simple prompt. Now in real time, again, I'll X this out, 11, 12, 13 seconds in real time. Look, I mean, that is incredible. The way that this can handle what I'm asking it to and leaving the environment, the consistency, the scene, my characters accurate, this is incredibly impressive. So there you have it, another banger of an update for Leonardo AI. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many creative things you could do, specifically the more and more you use different reference images. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car, your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules, channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and